And they were really funny. They were playing games with her and splashing her and trying to dunk her under the water. <laughs> no, it was really funny. They are. I mean, Wendy didn't like it much, but it was pretty good. Probably. So then, but then everything got really dark and cloudy, and that's what happened whenever Hook comes around. And Wendy was crying like this. I was seeing what they were doing, and, um, and, uh, uh, oh yeah, so what happened was Captain Hook was there, and what I did was I started talking like I was the great spirit of the sea ball. Well, it's kind of hard because it's not as echo, wait a minute. Is it like a whale? It's like this, because it's really echoey over by Skull Rock, and I said, Captain Hook. And he goes like this. He goes, what is that? Because pirates are really superstitious, so they were scared of spirits and stuff. And I said, this is Manitoa, great spirits of the sea water. And so he got really scared. But Captain Hook, he's not very smart, but he's not really dumb either. So he didn't believe for a second that it was a spirit. So he came searching for me, walking around all the rocks and skull rock and everything. But he left Mr. Smee in charge of Tiger. That was his biggest mistake. So as soon as Hook was gone, I went back into the echoey part. And I said, Mr. Smee! And he went like this. He said, uh, yes, Captain, because he thought it was Hook again. And I said, release the princess and send her back to her people. And Mr. Smee said, are you sure, Captain? my orders and all that kind of stuff just like Hook would do and and so Mr. Smee he apologized to Tiger Lily and he untied her and put her in the boat and started taking her back but then but then Hook saw her and he got really mad and said Mr. Smee what are you doing except you know all Captain Hook and stuff <laughs> and so and so he he said well Hook I'm taking her back just like you said and Hook said I said nothing of this sort and so Mr. Smee tried to argue but Hook to put her back, and then I did it again. Oh my uh -huh. God. And I said, Mr. Smee, it's really, 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 And so then he said, he said, uh, uh, he said, then who am I? And I said, you are a codfish. Uh -huh. And he didn't like that very much at all. So he got really mad and tried to figure out who I was. And soon enough, he figured out it was me, the greatest boy that ever lived here, man. <laughs> so then he and I got into a fight, and he challenged me to a duel. And I fought him back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I even gave my word that I wouldn't fly, you know, because, because I wanted it to be a fair fight, even though he's not as good as me, so it couldn't be fair. And then, right when he thought he had me, the crocodile came up. Really loud. Do you know what noise he makes? Uh-huh. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. And as soon as Hook heard that, he started shaking in his boots. He got so scared, he started crying and ran off with Mr. Smee. And then, just before the water got totally over Tiger Lily, I flew down. I cut the ropes loose and I saved her. And then I flew her all the way back to the Indian. 